Good afternoon, everybody. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's already been quite a day. Uh, yeah. You know, just 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 before we started, uh, found out that uh, the absolute legend Eddie Van Halen passed away. Uh, and uh, yeah, haven't really had time to process it. Uh, Not really. I mean, I we both heard like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, um, uh... And it can't be overstated how much he contributed to rock music and guitar in general. I mean, he literally changed the world of guitar yeah. as far as his influences are yeah. uh, concerned. So, you know, just thought we'd talk about that for a second before we got started. Yeah, it's just kind of acknowledging <laughs> what's 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 going yeah, on. You know? The elephant in the room and just like the air that just got sucked out. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get we'll get started in a minute, but you know, it's just uh Yeah, yeah, I will be, you know, reading a lot of obituaries <laughs> after this because I usually read more than one when uh, an icon like this moves on. Um, so it'll. Uh, It'll be a little bit of a of a <laughs> sorrowful afternoon with some yeah. for grief after the show. Um, and it was it was and um, you know just so people are wondering, he was of mouth cancer. He had mouth cancer for maybe 15, 20 years, and you know went through tons of treatments. Um, and obviously, I mean, they were still performing. Um, I think is even earlier this year. So he had been able to. Um, you know, gone through remission with it and um, had, was able to live with it, but uh, I guess it just it just took over very quickly. And uh, what a bummer! Because what a great uh, great contributor to the world of music. So, uh. yeah. Uh, did you have a, a favorite Van Halen track? Um, well, probably, you know, the thing, uh, there's a, there's a solo he did called Eruption and it's literally just a guitar solo, right? Oh yeah. But it was a track on, on, um, either the first or second Van Halen album. And then it led into their cover of You Really Got Me. Um, but that solo was so, um, iconic that. Guitar, guitar players everywhere learned it you know like when i was growing up like that was a thing to do like can you play eruption do you know how to play eruption <laughs> so like it, it, to hear the just the pure genius of his guitar playing i would recommend to everyone to just go to spotify or apple music and stream the song eruption and you'll know then you'll just hear he took a solo and turned it into a song and, yeah. and and I think that you'll you'll uh, appreciate him on another level if you don't already uh, know uh, how great he was. Yeah, no, that's that's that was took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say eruption. Um, I mean, I got a I got a soft spot in my heart for Hot for Teacher, but uh, you know, if I was going to recommend a song for somebody to listen to, it's it's it tends to be eruption. Yeah, Hopper Teacher's great too, um, and the guitar solo in that is amazing. Yeah. Um, and he, you know, he was a great songwriter. His the 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 brilliance of his guitar playing is often overshadowed by how, how great a songwriter he was too. Mm -hmm. You know, overshadowed uh, his songwriting ability. But I mean, Van Halen, Van Halen had some catchy songs. Sure did. Yeah, St uh, still still do. Yeah. Yeah, was, and they were one of the few bands that. Um, you know, was able to survive a lead singer change um, successfully. Very few bands do that because the lead yeah. singer is so much of a, you know, obviously the set, the signature of the band, but he and his brother were the signature sound of Van Halen uh, yep. even with two different lead singers. So, yeah. Oh man, well, yeah. it's it sucks to kick things off with a bummer, but uh, I know. Uh, you know. But we were both talking about it. We felt like we needed to say something. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Pour one, out, pour one out, for Eddie and uh, 
and uh, you know making a make an appropriate playlist for the next however long it takes you to get get through it. I know I'll be the yeah. it will be a while. Um, last week we had uh, the the joy we got to experience the joy of having Vivka join us on stream to help us put together a song for Black Viper. Um, you know, usually we kick things off with the last thing we did. Yeah, I say we. The last thing I watched somebody else do. <laughs> how's my how's my sound? You know what I think it was. Um, just I think what happened was is because we were connected through Zoom. I feel like Zoom was thinking maybe there was like a low rumble or something yeah. on her end, and it was thinking that she was talking. Yeah. When and that's why when I played lower notes that I disappeared because Zoom was like, oh wait, no, that person's talking. You're not talking. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we're better this week. Yeah, yeah, I, I've been getting feedback in chat like, "Oh, you need to you need to turn yours up a bit," and I'm, I I intentionally turned mine down because it tends to be harder for me to make sure that our, your audio level is as good. But um, I also know. brought I I brought home a compressor. I haven't hooked it up yet, but I brought home a compressor from my recording studio that I'm going to hook up. So by next week, I should have a nice signal for you that. It won't distort when I sing too loud, so we can turn it up louder. So fingers oh, crossed, it's okay. gonna work. Yeah, yeah, no, crank it, crank it up. Yeah. Um, still, it uh, this turn did turn out better for uh, audio over the call when I was muted. So, um, whenever you're ready, I will quiet. You can it. mute yourself. <laughs> Get muted now. Okay, cool. So this is the Black Viper song. Sun and leave the moonlight. A shadow creeps at the edge of sight. Pocket pick, be it noble all night. All gold shines the same under lamplight. Lady Charlie, Lady Skill, picking your pockets, going in for a kill. Lady Star, Lady Class, dancing a ball, kicking your ass. Feel the bitter bite of the Viper's Fanks tonight. Feel for those I blame. 
pop up spikes tonight. Yeah, that's I really like that uh, chorus a lot. It turned out. Yeah, really me too. Good. And, you know, Vivka and I have written a couple of songs together before mm -hmm. for the Siren Show. Yeah, she was um, mentioning that. Yeah. So I guess we had a slight comfor comfortability advantage. Well, I mean... It, it but you and I have written like 11 songs together now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, You're and an expert chat, songwriter now. as well. And... Um, yeah, there was a we got we got we got some good help from chat last week. Um, we did. Chat always brings us home. You know what I mean? Like when we're when we're stuck on something, or even you know, sometimes chat will give us an entire verse. Yeah, we'll be like, that's brilliant. I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, a significant amount of that chorus came from chat last week, so that was that was really cool. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's funny. Uh, uh, I had something i had stuff in mind for zorbu before we got here but uh, uh i'm curious what you think uh, well i mean if it seems like it's an acdc day because if the code is thunderstruck <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't want to i don't want to parody thunderstruck that's what, that's what people but, say uh, uh, uh <laughs> You know, there's a lot of ACDC ish coming around. It's because his nickname is Thunderbolt, and so I was like trying to fit Thunderbolt. I'm like, ah, that doesn't fit well. <laughs> and yeah. so uh, uh, went with Thunderstruck because I could fit it into 12 characters. Um, yeah. So I didn't intentionally make it an ACDC day. Um, plus, I, our our Stokey song was more in the vein of ACDC than a lot. It of It was. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I'm just trying to think of, uh, uh, you know, we talked a bit on uh, uh, Twitter. Garwar and I were bouncing ideas back and forth. He was, he was, he was, uh, his suggestion was something themed more uh, closer to Johnny Cash's. Um, uh, okay. What's it called? Which one? I'm forgetting the name. I'll have to look it up. I mean, or he'll type it in chat. It was a Johnny Cash song, though. And my memory doesn't extend back two hours. <laughs> like it used to. Um, Someone's asking if Anthrax wrote a song for Zorbu already. Oh, a thousand points of hate. Well, so like <laughs> Zorbu is in many ways just defined by the fact that um, he is like trying to kill lots of drow. <laughs> like, um, oh, God's kind of cut you down by Johnny Cash. That's the one that. Uh, oh, sure, down. yeah, yeah. And I suggested uh, Mark Colley's song from the Punisher soundtrack. Cut you down. Tell him the Zorb's gonna cut you down. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> no, that's yeah, uh, and um, and uh, in a well, not too similar vein, but the uh, 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 Mark Colley's song on the Punisher soundtrack. In time. Mm. Mm. But also just a little more, a little more quiet and subdued, I guess for. For both of those um you know but yeah you know what i love johnny cash let's if we could do something a little bit more in the vein of johnny cash i think that would be killer
like that? Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Totally perfect. Hmm? Totally perfect. Ah, exactly, uh, uh, Romans, exactly 40, Romans 44 is saying that the giant picture of Zorbu is covering the chords. Oh, yeah. I can actually which is that. actually kind of funny. You can't know the chords. Yeah. That's the point. The chords are secret. Where do I have that? Maybe if you moved him, I mean, can you move him? I can. I can. I just need to move him more to the, the corner. Open. Then again, that blocks the Takamine logo, which is my sponsor. So there it is. But that's okay because there's okay. So what would be a good first line for this? Mm, maybe I should bring up the file also. That might help. So that I can look at it. Can we take one moment to just say, this is episode 12. Yeah. We've now we this is going to be the twelfth song that we've written. Kind of crazy. So yeah, so I'm gonna okay. So oh yeah, I mean look the first the first I love it Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is a genre. I mean I guess it kind of <laughs> is. Um, Grew up on the slopes, uh, South Yardtown. Uh, na, 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 na. Grew up on, I, I grew up by the slopes, of, the slopes of the mountain of South Yartar. All right. Uh, I grew up underneath the mountains tall. Na, 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 na. Grew up underneath the mountains tall. And Yartar is what? I think Yartar is a place. Yeah. So I grew up underneath the mountains tall. Something in my village south of Yartar. I mean, those kind of, those could actually work. It's northeast of Tribor and Red Larch. Okay, got it. Hmm. One time when Johnny Cash was in Ireland on tour, he looked at a map and just sort of wrote down a lot of cities that looked that sounded cool on the map and then wrote a song about it. And people were like, how do you know so much about Ireland? And he admitted later that he just was <laughs> looking at a map. <laughs> Up on the knee, the mountain slope so tall. I grew up on the knee, the mountain slope so tall. I'll get it. Up on the knee, the mountain 
stood so tall Who never thought that I what has he accomplished so far? Um, I mean, he's really defined by the fact that he grew up uh, uh, in this like quaint little town um, that was under the protection of a, a dwarven ranger. And at some point, uh, Drow attacked and killed everybody, and the ranger was able to save him, but not anybody else. And so he became a ranger and uh, is just, you know, dedicates his time to. Uh, uh, killing Drow <laughs> since Drow mm. killed his family. I don't know that I want to focus on a race war as part of the song, though. Probably not. <laughs> um, Probably not. You know, but he had a you know, you know it, it, from the way that the bio was written, he had like an early idyllic childhood, like an idyllic gnomish one, where you know you're making inventions and tinkering things and living in a small town, and. Uh, you know. Yeah, maybe the chorus can just be about. Yeah, we could go a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. We the chorus could maybe just be about general hate, yeah. or general revenge, and we don't have to get too specific. Um, that seems to be what keeps him going. Yeah, um, you know, or it could be lamenting that he. He, he could lament about the days of innocence or something too, you know. Never thought, and then, but you know, uh, revenge is probably easier, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, he could be. This could be about him thinking about the life he'd have had if he didn't end up on this path. A lot of people mention about the Zorbu grind, and you know, I, I mean, he's the he's the the best uh, DPS champion in the game currently. He uh, he just keeps the more enemies he kills, the stronger he gets. People are still saying you're too quiet, Dylan. Oh, uh, you know, I have a tendency of being way louder, so I keep pushing the mic away from my face. I can get right in close. I'll do that. Never knew, never knew. I want to say something like the next line could be like, I never thought this would be all taken away. Um, but I want all to be the last word to rhyme with tall um, yeah never thought oh which something something would take away it all could take away it all never thought um but i don't want to say drow or never thought that one mistake could take away it all yeah Never thought I grew up underneath the mountain sloop so tall. Never thought the one mistake would take away it all. But really, it wasn't his mistake. It was Galler's mistake, right? Yep. Technically. But it wasn't his. Right. Yeah. But I feel like from the... Well... I guess if you know the story, it's somebody else's mistake, so that actually adds some layers to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm fine with that.
I would never mm. thought that his mistake would take away at all. No, I think I, 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 Star Chaser, I know what we're trying to say, but now that I think it's, I think it's clever that we say never thought that one mistake could take, take away at all because it is the other person's mistake, but we're not saying that right away. Let's leave some mystery. Oh, that's interesting. Project Q, if you want to elaborate on the mistakes, it could be about uh, Galor or Galor being his hero. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, we could go just literal, you know, now I'm here focused on revenge. <laughs> now I'm here focused on revenge. Actually, we need to cut out a little bit, but that's okay. We could just say, I live a ranger's life, but I never heard the call. Ooh, I like that. I live a ranger's life, but never heard the call. That's good, Nefarious, um, in another spot, I think. But I like that. It could be a chorus idea. I can only ever think of Star Trek when I read that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Old Klingon proverb. Kuplach. <laughs> I like before I fall, I just it the the beginning is clunky singing wise. I, li I live a ranger's life and never heard the call. I will or no 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 I will in my family. And before I fall, I will avenge my family. I die before I fall. I got the fourth and the remedy. Mm -hmm. I'll avenge my family. I'm oh, sorry, what did da -da. you say? I will avenge my family. Da da before I fall. Mm -hmm. 
until oh until the day how about i will avenge my family until the day i fall i, like I live a ranger's life never heard the call will avenge my family until the day i fall I was, I was actually thinking, like, that actually feels more appropriate than putting in lyrics there. say enemies if I just said I've killed a thousand and I kill a thousand more you soon know the sound they make as the bodies hit the floor and then maybe the next line we say you know it's the enemy unless it's just implied and we don't even need to it's the enemy like just it's the enemy oh no 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 what I'm saying is the original sentiment of that line was, I've killed a thousand enemies and I'll kill a thousand more. Oh. You can't really fit that rhythmically in the song. So by just saying, I've killed a thousand and I'll kill a thousand more, I do so love the sound they make as their bodies hit the floor. Um, tip of the hat to Drowning Pool. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then... Um, we should probably clarify in the next line that it's the enemies, but maybe it's, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe people know. Well, I, we could say that they came from the Underdark and leave it more ambiguous. Some people are like, oh, there's lots of stuff in the Underdark. There's, you know, there's an abundance of demons for some reason. There's Duergar, there's... Okay, know. so we'll say something about the Underdark? Yeah, the, the Underdark, yeah. You've a thousand and I'll kill a thousand more. I do so love the sound they make as the bodies hit the floor. Na, na, na. In the underdark, da 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 da. Hmm. No? Uh, just somebody asking, is, is this a hero or a murderer? The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> you know. Yeah. The bodies hit the floor. My temper's short and my list of foes is long. <laughs> I 
Tim for sure. And my list of foes is long. I guess that works. My temper short. My list of foes is long. Thanks, Bogart Ramshackle. Great name, by the way, Bogart Ramshackle. Not even 100% sure what you mean by that, but I'll just go with it. I'll cleanse the underdog. Yeah, my temper's short. And my, list, and my list of foes is long. Cleanse the underdog. And then, and then I'll sing this song. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, uh, I, songs that sing about songs always bugged me and i know that uh tenacious d does that but i think they were kind of taking they were like poking fun at that mm -hmm. but there's so many songs that sing about other songs or like there's a song that sings about singing a song and it's like well wait you're already singing a song so why are you singing me a song about another song it doesn't make any sense <laughs> Just saying. It's because it's not a song, Jason. It's a tribute. I'm not talking, <laughs> but I'm not talking no, about teasing. about them. All right. The 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 yeah. The tenacious D one was great. I can't find anything that rhymes with long in a way that's good. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll, what if, what if I'll cleanse the underdark of all who've done me wrong. Oh, there you go. So, cleanse the underdark of all, of all who've done me wrong. Temper short, and my list of foes is long. I'll cleanse the underdog, all who've done me wrong. Oh, now we should hit. Here's where we should hit the chorus or give What was that other line that we had from a while ago? About the revenge. Oh, uh, or cold, or you think that's a, too revenge is a dish best Star Trek. Uh, I mean, it's pretty look, Star Trek. <laughs> the rhyme after it was pretty good. Yeah, I'll have to scroll up. Um, luckily, we don't do raffles in this chat, so um, it doesn't get uh, crazy. Um, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it was further back than I thought. All right, here we go. Somebody parodied Danger Zone with Danger Gnome. That was good. Forgot to call that out. <laughs> they say revenge is a dish best served cold, but the ranger's life is more precious than gold. Yeah. Oh, and then Nefarious posted it again while I was scrolling up. Okay. <laughs> Tell me that revenge is dish Is a dish that's best of cold But they tell me that revenge Is a dish that's best of cold Um Okay, they tell me They tell me that revenge 
just just to make it sing better. They tell me that revenge is a dish that's best so cold. If that's okay, can I add in the other that? It's a little. It's a little cheap, but it still works. They tell me that revenge is a dish that's best so cold. Right, something about old. Um, that hasn't made it easier. <laughs> this, this could be about, uh, yeah. you grow old. that could maybe that's better but it has made it easier the hate makes you grow So one more line like that, and then sort of a tag at the end. Tell me that revenge is a dish that's best so cold, but it hasn't made it easier. Hate makes you grow. An angel's life is right for me, more precious than gold. is right for me it's more it's more precious than your gold it's more precious than your gold just to get the syllable count right mm -hmm. but i trade it all away oh but i trade it all away to just go home like as a child yep so try that so <laughs> Revenge is a dish that's best so cold, but it has made it easier. The hate makes you grow. The ranger's life is right for me. It's more precious than your gold, but I trade it all away to just go home. I know. What do you think of that? I, I like it. Um, you know, it's, uh, I think it's actually pretty powerful. And so Sarah Walton and I go like down, it. go on down the road. I grew up on, I grew up, here, let's try it up to that point. Okay. I grew up on, let me just take it, let me change. Thousand men of 
Listening to it, it feels like our syllables are a little off in some of the other verses. Um, at what? Um, I think in the the second verse, the one about the temper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. So I'll kill the thousand and I'll kill a thousand more. I do so love the sound they make as the bodies hit the floor. My temper's short. How about my temper's short and my list of foes is long? My temper's short. My temper's short. But my, and my list of foes is long. Cleanse the underdog. For all who've done me wrong. I don't think we ever had drow in there. No, we didn't. Um, I was actually thinking that do so could go. Do so love the sound they make. I don't know. I mean, it, it's kind of cool. It, but but maybe maybe it's yeah maybe that it's better to have a little bit of a of a breather. Um, so it's like, I killed a thousand and I killed a thousand more. I love the sound they make as their bodies hit the floor. My temper's short and my list of foods is long. I mean, yeah, okay, yes, we can take out that I do so. Yeah. I do so, declare. <laughs> I liked it as it was written, and uh, but uh, removing enemies kind of put that part off mm. and, uh, i'm just i just i'm not willing to write a song about killing dark-skinned people so we were it's not going to be a song about killing same <laughs> same same yeah. hard same yeah um but that's changing too they're they're adding uh yeah the the they've they've broadened the pigmentation of drow it used to be pretty strictly in a very narrow bandwidth of pretty dark skin, and now it's it's pretty it's pretty wide. It's like this grayish blue, from a very light grayish blue all the way to a pretty dark, um, just to just to move stuff around. And I was actually um for about five minutes I played the uh, Baldur's Gate three early access earlier today. <laughs> well, it's so funny. You and I are wearing the same shirt. You're wearing the red yep. version. Yeah. The yep. Baldur's Gate Avernus yep. uh, shirt. Yep. It was. It seemed like the most appropriate shirt for today. But and, uh, I just grabbed it on my clean shirt pile, and I was like, well, of course. And I was realized... wearing a shirt that had green on it, and I'm like, that'll disappear on stream. Uh, this one, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> um, that would be funny if you were just a floating head. Yeah, I did that once for a stream, and it was awkward and weird. <laughs> I wore a skull mask and was a floating head, and then I put an animated fire around it, so I was a flame skull. Oh, yeah, it was the most creative been, costume I've ever done for anything. Probably. Could have been Ghost Rider. That would have been cooler than what I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as someone who's joined D&D &D with 5e, it's great to see that D&D &D is moving away from some of the issues it had. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. It's, uh, all things evolve. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see that D&D uh, uh, &D is also evolving. Yes, very much so. Um, just a... 
So what do we want this next one to be about? Could it be about the 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 the, the emptiness? <laughs> yeah, why not? Or, you know, the emptiness you feel of constantly yeah. getting revenge, but there's no. It's just a temporary high. Yeah. <laughs> Emptiness I feel isn't filled with joy. Mm. Well, it's a little redundant. Yeah, I was trying to think of the emptiness I feel isn't. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a that's a clumsy attempt at a. Or how about I feel the emptiness curse? You know, I feel the emptiness flowing through my veins. I feel the emptiness. Eating OJ Drinker, you and I are on the same page. I feel, hi, Adriosa. I feel the emptiness eating me inside. What's up, Ragnar? Um, you really want to add in Thunderbolt into this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. I don't know. I think I, th I think uh, it's there's a really organic flow to it with the the two woes. Um, I don't know that I would want to make Thunderbolt one of them. I mean, we could try it just to hear how it sounds. It's all it's all you're left with when the hatred holds the reins. Oh, that's nice, Gar. Right. Yeah, we got to go with that. There we go. That's better. All you're left with. When hatred holds the rain, I feel the emptiness flowing through my veins. Um, when hatred holds the rain is perfect. I just have to think about how I would phrase that, and maybe we have a couple extra syllables to play with. Um, cause there's a lot of, there's a lot of room in, in here. I feel when the emptiness going through my veins. It's all you left with on and on. And the hatred holds the rain when you're, it's all your, it's all your, what if, what if it's, it's all you're left with inside when the hatred holds the reins. No, what if it's all you're left with late at night when your hatred holds the reins? It's all you're left with, all you're left with late at night when your hatred holds the reins. I mean, you know, like he's thinking about it late at night and when you're alone, right before you go to sleep, all he's left with is the emptiness. After a, a long, busy day, mm -hmm. you're, oh, you're tired, <laughs> lying down on a rock. <laughs> I like something about a hole inside or a grave that can't be filled with bodies. It's pretty cool. I feel the emptiness flowing through my veins. It's all your left with late at night when your hatred holds the rain. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. oh. How about I feel the emptiness inside coursing through my veins? What? It's um, just two more syllables in there. I feel the emptiness feel inside. The emptiness inside coursing through my veins. It's, well, but it kind of pushes. Um, nah, I don't think we have room for it in the first line. Well, we don't need to change anything. I was just trying to think if that works right. I feel the emptiness flowing through my veins. It's all you're left with late at night 
when your hatred holds the rain. Mm -hmm. The blood that's spilled is more an ocean than a stain. <laughs> that sounds intense. <laughs> oh, man. Good line, cranky nerd girl. <laughs> I mean, that could fit for the third line. So, uh, it's going to be quick. So, it's going to be like, it's all you'll live with late at night when your hatred holds the rain. Love that spill, there's more an ocean than a stain. I mean, I don't mind it because a lot of a lot of Johnny Cash songs or songs, um, you know, sort of storytelling songs, he would like just blast the lyrics on through, you know. Yeah, I've got no problem with that. The past so far behind, it'll never be the same. Blood that's spilled is more an ocean than a stain. Past so far behind, more an ocean than a stain. Past so far behind, it'll never be the same. Oh, yeah, let's try that. I feel the emptiness flowing through my veins. If all you're left with late at night. When your hatred holds the rain, love that's filled is more an ocean than a stain. Pass so, pass so far behind, it'll never be the same. sure seems less epic than an ocean. I think it's better <laughs> than an ocean. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Downpour is cool. Um, or... Or a torrent. Or raining blood, one might say. <laughs> Um, what's the issue with ocean that it's too cliche we'll see thanks for the raid welcome raiders Nazra Val Dohiri it's an interesting name welcome 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 to the awkward silence, as we think. I know. I don't know. I have no problem with ocean. Yeah, I think I think more an ocean than a stain is interesting. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You feel the air in my veins. I mean, you is it really too epic, though, Supply? I mean, how many how many kills does your Zorbu have? <laughs> yeah, doesn't Zorbu lead in DPS? Uh, not only leads in DPS, but scales infinitely. <laughs> so as long as he's killing things, he gets stronger. <laughs> wow. You know, Conan's got nothing on him because... Conan's got Krom, though. I do think about the, the, the argument that he has where he talks about how Krom is so much stronger than everybody else's puny gods. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. But then I like it when Subuta is like, my god is the everlasting sky. Your God lives underneath him. <laughs> ah, you're right. Ah. <laughs> oh man, I love those films. That movie. Well, no, I love so, the first one. Yeah, the second one. Eh. 
but the first one still holds up. It's a super classic. There's so oh, much okay. iconic imagery and stuff in it. It's great. Oliver Stone co-wrote that script. Did he really? Yeah. I would. I did not expect that. Huh. Because mm. when, when did that come out? Did that come out before or after Platoon? Where was Oliver Stone in his career at that point? Oh, um... Conan the Barbarian, written by Oliver Stone, 1982. Huh. Scarface was the screenplay right after that. <laughs> wow. No big deal, that movie. <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird if Conan had said, say hello to my little friend instead? I mean, I could picture it. That like a dagger. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Nice sidebar for that second. Yeah. Chat is still arguing over Puddle versus Ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like Ocean better. Puddle just seems not epic, and Ocean is so epic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you have a middling epic, uh, that's two syllables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta go with ocean yeah yeah <laughs> sorry we're not we're not accusing you of uh of, of arguing or anything it's just you know we're discussing we're all discussing <laughs> can't see the ocean through the pain Tell me that revenge in the dish that spells so cold But it hasn't made it easier The hate makes you grow old The range is life to drive for me It's more precious than your gold But I trade it all away to just go home Oh I'm just thinking something out. Okay. Uh, get my rhyme zone open in another window. Hey, Vancouver by night. Is there a Vancouver by night as well? I thought it was there was LA by night and Seattle by night. Is there a Vancouver well, by night show also? I'm not sure if it's a show, but it's definitely a Twitch account. Cool. Talking to us right now. Right on. Huh, I didn't realize there was another one. That's awesome. I know there's Long Beach by night as well. There's lots of by nights. There's quite a few by nights. There's Nick at night. <laughs> there was back in the day. a show but non-canon thank you for uh letting us know yeah cool i was in an episode of la by night did you know that i did not i haven't i haven't watched it i i played vampire uh, way back god a long time ago but i haven't uh, even thought about it in years really i just know that a whole bunch of people do la by night and uh seattle by night although i guess those shows are done for now i think covid kind of sidelined them for a little bit but yeah. i think they'll be back yeah i mean it was always interesting i'm seeing a, a, a shots of uh, b dave sitting beside erica and making her look like a tiny human and making him look hilariously large <laughs> uh, there's a chicago by night huh yeah 
Yeah, I played a werewolf um, named Strikes Accord. Nice. And I, I mean, and I haven't been. I appreciate that one, and mainly haven't been back on because werewolves can just rip the crap out of vampires. But if I did come back, we have to figure out a way for me to come back and not kill the cast. Yeah, I always found I always found that really interesting about the World of Darkness books is that uh, uh, werewolves are terrifying super monsters that can just carve a swath through everything. <laughs> You're just mm -hmm. like, oh god. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, in my show on tour with dragons that I do for the um, Dungeons and Dragons YouTube channel, um, I actually visited a. Did I ever tell you about that show? Which show? It's called On Tour with Dragons. So far, we've done eight episodes. Oh, yeah, when you were touring and you were seeing like uh, local hobby stores and stuff, right? Right. Yeah, I watched right. the first couple episodes of that. That was good. So Asgard Games in Houston, the owner of that store, his father invented World of Darkness hmm. and started White Wolf Games. Wow. Yeah. So that was really cool to talk to him because I was like, you know, keeping it, keeping gaming in the family is pretty neat. Fix the name at the top of the screen here because it cuts off. So I'm just going to take out the middle part. What happened? Uh, no, it's just it, it was too long for this little text box up the top, and it was cropping it and bugging me. <laughs> it does kind of have turn a turn the page vibe. Little B99. Now we just need a sax solo or. Uh, an oboe solo from Lauren who was here earlier I'm not sure if she's still hiding in chat right now <laughs> that'd be cool We need another verse to get to the chorus again, or or do we do something else? I think we need something else. I'm just <laughs> still working on that third line because the it just it, I don't know something about it isn't clicking for me. I'm just trying to think of how what what how how to help it because I like I get that like I get why chat fixated on it so much, talking about it like an ocean or a lake or a torrent or a downpour or you know just mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure that that's necessarily the issue with the line. I think the there's something about that line that isn't quite clicking. Well, what if it's the blood? First of all, I think it'd be better if it's the blood I've spilled. That's I was kind of looking at it. So I don't know if that changes anything. I was well, I was thinking like blood I've spilled could fill an ocean made of pain. That's bad. I like it. Yeah. Because more an ocean than a stain is kind of like. I get the uh, like a stain. When you think of a stain, you think of like, oh, I got ketchup well, on my shirt. <laughs> right. And going yeah. from that to um, seventy percent of the planet being covered in ocean is kind of like, oh, it's 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 too vast of a of a of a difference for you. Yeah. Okay. Could fill an ocean made of pain. I mean, that's pretty epic as well. Also, it's more metal. I'm, you know, the ocean made of pain. Yeah. Time to enter the ocean of pain. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I want to. It's like, jump in, push. <laughs> it's just like, Ugh. yeah. From the bog of eternal stench into the ocean of eternal pain. That would not be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Oh yeah, we need to we need to change reins. I, I yeah, I fixed that because I looked at it. I'm like reins. I'm like that's how you spell reins, but oh, wrong reins. <laughs> My tired, distracted brain is just kind of like, oh, that makes more sense. Yes, I will fix that. I will fix the typo.
Plus, if we do a nice little bridge here before we go into the chorus again, we can finally sing about Thunderbolt. The, uh, yeah, we have to. The we heavy crossbow. Uh, uh, that but is, do, we, do we do the bridge there, or do we do the chorus, and then the bridge, and then the chorus? What's a better... No, you're right. So I pull up Thunderbolt and something that rhymes with something. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And something that rhymes with Thunderbolt. <laughs> Thunderbolt Locked and Loaded is like the Michael Bay remake of our artsy song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not untrue. <laughs> uh. for, for no reason at all, Optimus Prime shows up. Yeah. Thunderbolt. How many of those movies are there now? Five? Six? At least five. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. And everyone ends with, I'm sending this message out. We are coming for you. We will be waiting. Or whatever. He always, it always ends with an epic ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to get that Peter Cullen monologue mm -hmm. in somewhere. He must be getting on. How old is Peter Cullen at this point? I'm not sure. I doubt he's young. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, anyways. Well, let's see. Yeah, it, it just feels like we need this this last part and uh <laughs> Yeah, DJ battle. That would be awesome. <laughs> Between Soundwave and Blaster. <laughs> Autobots, Decepticons, DJ battle. I'm sure somebody on the internet somewhere has already made that. Because like, that just seems like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess... Yeah, what do we, what do we want to do for this part? This feels like the end part. Well, we got to say something about Thunderbolt. Bridgy. And then... Chorus, Bridgy, chorus. <laughs> uh. Thunderbolt ready to strike down my foes, taking down lifelong enemies who's brought my life much woe. I pull a thunderbolt, pull the trigger, hear the screams. That's intense. <laughs> this is a little bit more of a this is more of a somber reflection than a I'm a go on my I'm a, I'm a continue my murder murder spree. My partner thunderbolt. I like that. Okay. Mm. 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 Our, our producer
producer Jay says there are five Transformers films and six if you count Bumblebee. I did not realize there were so many. Oh yeah, the Bumblebee film. I totally forgot about that. I actually, <laughs> I actually didn't mind that one. I remember seeing that in the theater. God, when was that? I haven't even I been in a theater really this good. year, so it must have been a while really ago. Good. Yeah. Well, it had that the whole introduction where they're actually on Cybertron looking like Generation 1 Transformers, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is what I wanted to see the first time around. <laughs> and then, of course, the movie doesn't stay there. And also, John Cena is really funny. I just get a kick out of him every time I see him in anything because he's hilarious. <laughs> I hope he continues to not make serious roles. Did you ever watch The Marine? No. Was it, he serious? It was that? his first feature film. It was produced by the WWE. That's right. And uh, Robert Patrick was the villain in it, the guy who played the T-1000. He's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, last year, I played a, a benefit concert at a Harley Davidson um, dealership at, like, the end of a ride. It was, like, a motorcycle ride um, for – I can't remember what charity it was. Um, and um, – so the but the end of the motorcycle ride was at a Harley Davidson dealership. Turns out Robert Patrick owned the Harley Davidson dealership. Yeah. And, uh, he really liked our our band, and uh, we have been friends ever since. Cool, so, right on. Yeah. And he just happened to be in the greatest action movie of all time. Exactly. Yeah, he had the Terminator in inside his dealership. He had the Terminator video game. That was pretty cool. Like the stand-up one, you know, that would be in an arcade. Oh, the one with like the 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 the, the gun one? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. But so wait, so he was the villain in the Bumblebee movie? No, in The Marine, John Cena's first movie. Oh, The Marine. Okay, right, right. And there's a whole bunch of really bad Terminator jokes in it. Um, honestly, the whole thing is like a really overproduced B movie, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Um you know, I mean, don't go in expecting Shakespeare and you won't be disappointed. It was a fun watch. And there's a, there's a hilarious number of slow motion jumping away from explosions. <laughs> like, yeah, it's great. Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I, I, I'm just struggling to foot, figure out what to put in this part because I'm not sure exactly how long we need it to be. Hi, Ghost Rider UK. We were actually talking about Ghost Rider earlier. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he heard. It might be Ghost Strider, though. <laughs> remember, remember Strider? Yeah, never mind. That was a bad joke. Oh. It could, well, but there's no, it would, then it would be, well, you're right. I mean, it could be just, it could be Ghost Strider. <laughs> there's some interesting stuff from Crislo here. I'm just trying to copy it, but chat keeps moving. Put it down below. Gotta love Strider classic mm -hmm. ghost but ghost rider uk is just here for the code <laughs> well fair enough it's fine that's what we're here for we're here to give yeah, code yeah. there are codes. codes writing songs and giving codes <laughs> that's what we do <laughs> Anyway, the slaughter is to see their deadly. Anyway, the slaughter is to see their deadly faults. Joining all the fair and heroes brought apparently some good news. Slayer Huh. Weird line. Interesting line. That one about cheese kind of threw me off, though. <laughs> yeah, not sure about the cheese one. Yeah. Um, anyways I ponder another from the quiver Thunderbolt lets him fly uh, yeah hmm. I mean we sort of for this bridge part we kind of need to have somewhat of a conclusion Mm -hmm. I wonder, like, is there any remorse at all, or it's just revenge, revenge, revenge? I think it's, like, you know, when he can't sleep, he's probably considering uh, the path that he's on. But he's just, like, he's so Batman-focused on, on it that he, he just keeps going. 
You know, like everything he he invented an oversized crossbow that he can use so that he could fire bolts through people, and uh, like exploding inventions and stuff. He's just a uh, yeah. And people are like, "Who are you?" And he's like, "I'm Zorbu." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm Zorbu. No. <laughs> I swear to God. Swear to me. <laughs> swear to Zorbu. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I just, um, do we have a melody for this part? Next bolt and let it fly. Oh, to the sky. They'll be by my side when I'm put in the ground. My partner's thunderbolt has never let me down. Draw the next bolt and let it fly. They'll be by my side when I'm put in the ground. So don't throw they'll be by my they'll be by my sound oh, my partner thunderbolt will never let me down draw the next bolt and let it fly they'll be by my side when I put in I think we're it's weird because we've been talking a lot but we're kind of blasting through this song Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Lifelong friends who don't ask why. Lifelong. No life. Lifelong friends who don't ask why. But I do like three, two, one Presto's idea of whose cause will never die. Ooh. Uh, because that sort of puts a little cap to that. How about lifelong? How about lifelong friends whose cause will never die? Should we try this? Yeah, it feels one syllable off, like it's one syllable too long. I'd have to come in early, so it'd be like, lifelong friends, because we were going, uh, my partner Thunderbolt has never let me down. Draw the next bolt and let it fly. They'll be by my side when I put in the ground. Lifelong friends whose cause will never die. All right. Yeah, you're right. Works for me. Yeah. I think that's that's the whole thing. The whole kit and caboodle. It could be. Let's try this tune. Let's try it out. Yeah. Let me take a quick drink of old your water here. Okay, here we go. So tall, if I thought the one mistake take away it all, live a ranger's life and never heard the call. I will avenge my family till the day I fall. Oh. 
through my veins It's all you're left with me tonight When your hatred holds the reins Blood I've spilled and feel an ocean made of pain so far behind It'll never be the same couple little bit of mistakes but well it's the first time a song has been performed in its entirety before well is it is it the word lifelong because it looks like it's a hard word to sing um life uh no i just i came in too late so i should have gone um lifelong friend uh uh Lifelong friends whose cause will never die. That's how I should have come in. I can try it again. I, I think um, what happened was I, I, we had worked on the other parts for so long that I kind of forgot how quick some of the stuff went mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. in the verses. So I don't mind trying it again. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna try it again, we can. Yeah, can, you know, because yeah. we need one for the clip, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Um, yeah, uh, muting. Whenever you're ready. Here we go again. No. All right. <laughs> Here we go again for real. The Song of Zorbu. Oh, 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 oh. I killed a 
thousand, then I kill a thousand more. I love the sound they make as our bodies hit the floor. My temper short and my list of fools is long. I'll fence the underdog of all who's done me wrong. When I look at chat when I'm performing, it always distracts me. But I saw someone wanted something happier. I think that's, that's, I think that's good. I, I, feel like, I feel like part of this last two hours has been doing something that's pretty morose because of the news we just got. I and know. It, and it, it helped a bit, I think. I think um, so, too. But I'm also, I'm also down for something uplifting. Um, I'm going to start a poll for the next song champion. Starting okay. now. Uh, so uh, those who are in Twitch chat in a, on a device or a platform where they can see the poll at the top, you are now able to vote for which one of these core ladies uh, we do a song for. Um, and you are also able to spend some of your bits to vote extra if you feel like doing that. Mm, uh, that's cool. Yeah, because uh, other than that, you're just highlighting messages. What are you really spending bits on? So, you know, throw them votes in. I'm very curious to see which one of them uh, ends up winning. Uh, uh, and it's actually, it's going in a bunch of directions. This would be really interesting. Uh, in the meantime, Garwar, time to spend my 139,400 bits. Um, wow, man. You yeah. should come over to my channel sometime, that's big some, boy. That's some bits. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
yeah yeah you feel like spending extra bits uh anybody feels like i can spend an extra bits i don't know we're just trying it out with bits this time don't normally do that so we'll see what happens uh, uh you know i might never do that again <laughs> depending on how this goes uh but yeah uh, uh please uh, oh yeah when 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 someone said happier um i definitely was thinking of brimstone angels <laughs> For it sure. is the most upbeat, like, go, go, go song. Literally, yeah. go, go, go. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's also one of the one of the best ones I think that's that, that we've done. It was, a, it was a really killer. I like that one a lot. Yeah. I mean. And I have this whole pictured anime intro with the credits running and, like, you know, like some sort of leaves or something falling as, like, one of them's under a tree and, you know, it's, you know, all that stuff. Um, it's channel points. Oh, right. It's not bits. It's channel points. Well, whatever. Um, we haven't done Crawl yet, Merc, but we've done um, Toragar. We did Toragar, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, look at this voting. That's <laughs> so out of hand. Maybe we'll vote on Merc in the future. I mean, yeah. on uh, on uh, Crawl in the future, Merc. Huh. Uh, this voting is funny. <laughs> I'm looking at the poll right now. It's 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 craziness. Yeah. Wow. Because <laughs> this is what happens when you allow voting extra times. <laughs> Boy, it's wait. Yeah, people can vote more than once. There are not. 200 and why is this oh okay yeah you can vote once and then you can keep voting so you know it'll be celeste or jamila i'm pretty sure um but kudos to the people who voted for naily goldflower calliope and delina um well you can vote but then you have to spend bits to vote to vote again right yeah yeah or channel points or whatever mm. i mean you get channel points just for being in the channel um so it's just kind of that's how it that's how it goes. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's that's gonna run for another couple of minutes. We'll see how that chaos uh, uh, goes. Um, Garwar says it's the second vote in a row he's voted for Delina. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad you guys uh, have appreciated using uh, uh, channel points to to manipulate voting. It's that's pretty intense to see that turnout. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Brimstone Angels, go, go, go. I think, I think it'd be a really nice upbeat, upbeat way to start tying this up and we could actually, you know, go read, yeah. go, go. Uh, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go, go, go. Yeah. Um, let's, let's do it. Um, I'm going to just give a little bit of backstory to those who don't know. Yeah. Um, we were lucky enough to have, uh, uh, author Aaron M. Evans on stream. Uh, a couple months back now uh, for those who don't know it was Aaron. a joy to have on oh she's sure. well she's always a delight she's wonderful uh, and we got another uh, project we're working on with her that we'll be announcing next week uh, oh. but um, but I'll wait for that part uh, uh, Aaron wrote the brimstone angels saga forgotten realms novels uh, you know uh, introducing uh, Farida and Havilar the tiefling twin sisters uh, adopted by their dragonborn mercenary father, uh, Mahen. Uh, I think his first name is Versathurgish. Uh, Versathurgish? Uh, it's, it's a hard one. Um, crazy name, but Mahen. And yeah, Aaron uh, Aaron was here on stream to... Uh, to uh, Oh, God. Supply contributed 39,500 channel points. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of votes. Uh, but Aaron joined wow. us on stream to... Uh, to uh, help write the song, give context to uh, Frida and Happy, and it was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, we will honor this and do a song about Celeste next week. However, I will probably not be using channel points to allow people to to, to, to warp the voting like this again. Learned your lesson. Yeah, yeah. Tried it once. Hey, eh, maybe listen. not again. But, uh. All I'm saying, I know you're, I know you live in Canada and everything, but the last thing we need right now is 
anything reminding us of votes being manipulated, okay? Oh, yeah. Fair you don't need that right now. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a fair point. Um, yeah, this is a good case study in uh, 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 watch out for channel points. <laughs> um, Anyways. Good. All right. Yeah, Brimstone Angels, go, go, go. Brimstone Angels, here we go. I met the devil It was a cold and stormy day I was slightly disheveled I felt the spark there anyway it Taught me Eldritch Blast And I was sure this love would last They all told me no But he's the devil that I know You know, it, normally we like push like right to three, but uh, on all of our, all of our other shows, we like wrap it up in the few minutes leading up to the hour. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that I think this is a good day to call it, and uh, uh, you know, give everybody an extra couple of minutes to uh, queue up their uh, Van Halen playlists for uh, exactly. After Let's the all show. jam some Van Halen today. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what is the date today? Today is October sixth. So thank you for joining us today for Bardic Inspiration. Uh, we won't be back next week because there's Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. Whoa. Um, awesome. Yeah. yeah, and I'm taking a mini vacation to get some extra days with uh, with my wife and baby. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, we will be back on the, what is it, the 20th, I think is the next? Yes, not the 13th, the 20th will be the next episode. Episode, episode uh, 13 uh, about Celeste. Um, which will be really fun because I'm going to need to dig up some lore on Celeste because Celeste, uh, uh, our game is not the first game that Celeste has been in. So got to do, got to do some research. Um, thank you all for joining us, uh, for participating in the show, submitting, uh, uh, lyrics, giving us ideas, working with us, uh, participating in the community, playing D and D. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, shout out to Jay, uh, for, uh, modding, co-producing. Uh, 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 extra large super shout out to Jason Charles Miller, uh, the talent for uh, uh, gracing us with his time uh, uh, to do this uh, writing good music doing cool things and um, 
And I, yeah. I just said hi in chat because um, I, I'll be here next week. So uh, every Monday night, I do a show um, at 7 Pacific um, called Miller's Music Mondays. And I play some of my original material. And I have guests every week. And um, my guest on Monday is named Ted Russell Camp. And he plays in Shooter Jennings' band. And he just played on the latest Marilyn Manson album. Cool. Um, and we're going to have a lot of fun going back and forth and playing songs and stuff. So I'd love for you guys to tune in to that when you can. Yeah, so just give me awesome. a follow. Get the old uh, notification. Yeah, yeah. Miller's Music Mondays, uh, uh, Monday at 7 yeah. p.m., 6 p.m.? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Pacific. 7 p.m. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and I really love, the, I love doing this show with you, man, because, and, and with chat and, I mean, look how fun it's it's been. I'm glad we're continuing to do it. And, and it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. And, and the participation from chat is so awesome and rad so you guys keep it up thank you for everyone that's been um tuning in every week and and writing songs with us super cool yeah it's fun it's what i, what I like about it is actually getting it feeling more like people get to participate actively um i mm -hmm. hope i hope that's how everybody feels it seems to be um anyways yeah uh take care of yourselves and each other and have a great week cheers everybody bye